Hey everyone, this is Rob Krasko for Humanize Technology, and today we're going to take a look at Advanced Tools, Refine Stitching. If you have an issue with the automatic stitching, use Refine Stitching to fix it. First, get to a frame where the issues are most apparent. In my image, you can see these ropes are broken. To open the tool, click the Advanced Tools and the Refine Stitching tab. Click Add Current Frame to start working on the issue. As you can see, this has already made the issue better. In fact, many times this will be all you'll need to do to fix any issue. But in this case, it's still off, but we can make it better. The six numbers are the estimates of the camera's location in space, bottom being distance to the ground, top distance to the ceiling, and the distances out from the stitch lines. You can change these values manually by dragging the sliders, clicking the left and right arrow keys, or entering numbers in the box. You'll notice numbers at the top that correspond to the four image stitch lines. The toggle button lets you switch between linear and perspective interpolation. It's recommended that you try to adjust the top and bottom distances first, and I'll show you why by trying to adjust the stitch distance first. Going by the guide number at the top, we're working with stitch number three. So I'll take the distance down to where the ropes come together. And it looks good, but we have created a new issue back here where you can see this part of the building is doubled. So we're going to hit reset and try adjusting the bottom value. Increasing the value makes things worse, so we'll decrease it. That looks pretty good. There's no one way to fix any issue, so experiment and see what works. And if you change your mind, you can remove the adjustment point by clicking Remove Current Frame. If you have different issues in different parts of your clip, you can use multiple adjustments. Hope this helps you understand the refined stitching tool, and thanks for watching.